Hello everybody, I'm Dr. David Wackenfeld, the Chief Scientist at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, and I'm here with the latest in our series of weekly reef health updates. Since the start of summer, or at least for the last six weeks, we have watched the heat stress slowly accumulate in some parts of the Great Barrier Reef, particularly up in the far north and some inshore areas of the central and southern reef. Over the last week, we have seen that pattern really speed up and intensify. If we look at the current thermal anomaly out there in the park at the moment, we can see that almost everywhere in the Great Barrier Reef is substantially warmer than average for February. Now, the pattern of that warming has actually inverted over the last couple of weeks, such as the areas in the far north, yes, they're warmer than average, but not by as much as areas in the southern two-thirds of the reef from about Port Douglas south. So that's different to the pattern that we've seen before. Although some areas are only half a degree to one degree warmer than average, as you can see in that southern two-thirds in particular, there are temperatures that are up to between two and three degrees above average for February. And I would remind you that February is the hottest month of the year on the reef. So these anomalies are really very concerning and they have intensified in the last week. If we now look at the heat stress that has accumulated on the reef since the beginning of summer, since the 1st of December, we can see that the pattern we've looked at over the last few weeks is still there, but it is intensifying and spreading. So there is still an area of now fairly intense heat stress that has accumulated right up in the far northwestern corner of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, but there is also intensifying and spreading heat stress particularly in the inshore central Great Barrier Reef and the inshore southern Great Barrier Reef. Now, since we last spoke about a week ago, those areas of thermal stress have both intensified and spread. And of course, that is now cause for concern. These levels of heat stress are definitely capable of causing coral bleaching. And we are now at a heightened level of alertness for what is happening out there in the park. So, as a consequence of these patterns of heat stress that we have seen, we have started to mobilise our staff, both in boats and in aircraft, to get out into the park this week to look for the first signs of coral bleaching. Yesterday, we had surveys conducted at three reefs up in the very far north, near the northern border of the marine park, and we did see significant bleaching on all three of those reefs. That is the first time we've seen significant bleaching so far this summer. So that's a very important observation. It ties in very well with the observations of heat stress and it is a confirmation of our growing concern about what is happening out on the reef at the moment. We also have anecdotal reports of increasing coral bleaching from some other locations in different parts of the park. We are mobilizing teams to both fill in gaps but also to verify some of those more anecdotal observations just to see exactly what is happening at different parts in the park. But those key areas of stress, far north, particularly the northwest, central inshore, southern inshore, are our key focuses at the moment. So the situation that we have at the moment is reasonably concerning. We know that we have some growing reports of bleaching from certain areas and we are investigating those, but the concern at the moment is that the forecast for the weather patterns over the remainder of February and the first half of March are not good for bleaching conditions on the reef. So the forecasts are for yet more heat stress, uh, particularly over the next two to three weeks. It is the weather that happens over the next three to four weeks that will determine whether we just see isolated areas with a bit of bleaching or the, whether we see something over bigger areas. So we have to watch the weather and we are also now getting out and actually looking for signs of bleaching out in the marine park. Once again, if you are out in the marine park, please use the eye on the reef system to help us keep track of what's going on out there. This is an absolutely critical time of the year and we really do need your help. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next week.